Total Conquest is proud to present our first feature patch, as voted on by the community, Salt and Coin. If you like trade notes in Empire, then you are going to love them in Rome Remastered. If you like Confederation mechanics from Warhammer, then you are going to love them in Rome Remastered. And if you like scripted immersive events, you get the picture. This is a Carthage themed update, and today I shall be covering all the new features. First, the factions. Carthage itself starts divided, like I suggested almost a year ago now. This helps the AI so much and makes Carthage a force to be reckoned with, like it was historically, not the joke we get in vanilla. The Hanoid dynasty defending Carthage's doorstep. Their special mechanic is that they get to push laws through to the Senate, boosting their own power and influence. And when their relations with the people reaches 100%, they instantly inherit the entire Carthaginian Empire. This will be no easy task, however, and the Hanoids must carefully keep the other families in check in the meantime. The Hanoids, least of all, want the civil war to kick off. Through traits, random events, missions, building trees and passable laws, the Hanoid dynasty stands on its own as a truly unique faction attempting to balance the political climate. A great challenge, but one that comes with a greater reward. The Bar Kids, however, they are the complete opposite. Starting along the rich Iberian coast, the family of Hannibal must carve a name for themselves against the barbarians, cross the Alps and defeat the Roman Empire. But why stop there? The Republic is an old, outdated system anyway. These acts of military success gain you power, and once you reach 100% power, take the fight back home and trigger the civil war. This faction is more military focused and welcoming to new players of Carthage. A simple conquer, consolidate and then conquer some more. With scripted events and a built in story campaign where Hannibal himself spawns into the game with a unit of elephants. This is truly a unique campaign in Total Conquest. I won't spoil too much of Hannibal's story yet though. The final Carthaginian faction is the Magonid dynasty, defending the seas against foreign invaders. This faction will be incredibly wealthy, and then can use that wealth to influence the court back home. Do you wish to bribe senators to your side, building your reputation in the council until all agree to unite under your name? Or would you rather take the cheaper route and use your great wealth to cause trouble? triggering a glorious civil war that will allow you to take back what was formerly yours. This faction is the perfect middle ground, with a focus on obtaining a great amount of wealth. There we are, that is the Carthaginian super faction. Not only are they all in a unique starting location, but they all have unique events, and their own ways of defeating the other families. For those wondering why Carthage is split and Rome united, that is still being worked on. Rome still needs a lot of work, but it will all make sense in future. What we wanted to do was make Carthage more replayable and unique. The Brutii, Scipii and Julii allow the player to play Rome over and over again, but every time with a fresh and unique feel to it. That's what we have gone for here with Carthage. In addition, it makes the AI so much stronger early game, but in a way where the player will still face significant challenge, starting smaller and trying to overcome the other two families. But that's not all. Trade nodes. Send a fleet over to them and instantly begin collecting trade income. But be careful, as pirates may spawn in the area and attempt to destroy your trade routes. In future, we plan much more with this feature. We're just testing it out for now, but imagine if you are trading at the British node. You get the historical resource of tin that other traders got from the region. That you can use to unlock new stuff in your empire back home, 
or maybe distant unique mercenaries, perhaps. These can be used by all factions, and bring some otherwise empty areas of the seas to life. We also have plans to implement pirates as a faction, hiding out on their pirate coves, causing trouble, allowing the player someday to maybe rid the seas of piracy, and obtain unique rewards for doing that. Kamisar, the main modder and founder of Total Conquest, has put a lot of work into this mod, developing it, gluing it together, ensuring it is as balanced as it can be, bringing my ideas to life in ways I never thought possible, all to get this patch out before Christmas. He's done good. Not to mention, the entirely new unit roster, designed by Agugus, made in a way to represent the diversity of Carthage on the field. Further, if you have a governor in a city, then destroy this building here to unlock a series of edicts. These set specific laws for specific cities, allowing the player to make each individual city stand out. However, be careful. The governing character may pick up some good or bad traits, depending on the edicts he selects. The civilization mechanic has now been completely revamped too. Civilization increases gradually over time, the rate depending on your culture. Higher tiers of civilization level must be reached, along with the population, to unlock higher tiers of cities. And last but not least, if playing as Rome, you may want to keep an eye out over those Alps. Just saying. Total Conquest thanks you for your 6,000 subscriptions so far, and we're all looking forward to sharing what is to come next, and there's so much planned. The goal of this mod is to focus on gameplay, making each faction feel unique. History will of course be present, with many events and chances to play it in a historically immersive way, but Historical accuracy is far from the driver of this mod. There's other mods that take that route already, so you may see many inaccuracies here and there, but we do not care. We just want to make something that is fun. Like and subscribe for more future updates. Let us know what you think down below in the comments, and share with anyone you think may be interested. Join the Discord, check out the mod, all linked down below, but for now, Melgon.